Good day. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Hey, it's me Andrew, back again. I would like to tell you the life story of Saint Lorenzo Ruiz de Manila, he is the first Filipino saint. This is his life, hope you listen to me. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Aka Saint Lorenzo de Manila September 29, 1600, 1637, is the first Filipino saint protomartyr venerated in the Roman Catholic Church. He was martyred during persecution of Japanese Christians under the Takagawa Shogunate in the 17th century. Born in Binondo, Manila, Lorenzo Ruiz was of mixed Chinese and Filipino descent Chinito. His Chinese father taught him Chinese, and his Filipino mother taught him Tagalog. Both of his parents were Catholic. Ruiz served as an altar boy at the convent of Binondo Church. After being educated by the Dominican friars for a few years, Ruiz earned the title of Escribano Stenographer because of his skillful hand and unsurpassed penmanship. He became a member of the Confraternity of the Rosary. In 1636, while working as a clerk at the Binondo Church, Ruiz was falsely accused of killing a Spaniard. Prior to this incident, his life with his Filipino wife, two sons and a daughter was peaceful, religious and full of contentment. But after the allegation, Ruiz sought asylum on board a ship with three Dominican priests, Saint Antonio Gonzalez, Saint Guillermo Cortet, and Saint Miguel de Ayazaraza, a Japanese priest, Saint Vicente Shuazuka de la Cruz, and a layman named Saint Lazaro of Kyoto, a leper. Ruiz and his companions left for Japan on June 10, 1636 with the aid of the Dominican Fathers and Sr. Domingo Gonzalez. The boat landed at Okinawa and the group was arrested and persecuted because of their Christian religion. They were brought to Nagasaki on July 10, 1636. They were tortured through hanging by their feet, by submerging in water until near death, and by water torture. Needles were also inserted under their fingernails and they were beaten until unconscious. These methods made some of Ruiz's companions recant their faith, but Ruiz never did. On September 27, 1637, Ruiz and his companions were taken to the Mountain of Martyrs, where they were hung upside down into a pit known as Horka Waiwea. This mode of torture was considered as the most painful way to die at the time because it involved the use of rocks to add weight to the person being punished. The individual being tortured suffocated quickly while being crushed by his own weight. Two days after, Ruiz died from hemorrhage and suffocation. His body was cremated and his ashes were thrown into the sea. Lorenzo Ruiz was beatified in Manila on February 18, 1981 by John Paul II during his papal visit to Manila, the first beatification ceremony held outside the Vatican. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz was elevated to sainthood and canonized by John Paul II in the Vatican City, Rome on October 18, 1987 making him the first Filipino saint and a martyr. That was the life of Saint Lorenzo, and now we will pray for him. Hi, I am Christine. Nice to meet you again. Saint Lorenzo said, I am a Christian, and this I profess until the hour of my death, and for God I shall give my life. Although, I did not come to Japan to be a martyr, nevertheless, as a Christian and for God I shall give my life now, close your eyes and bow your head. We will pray now to Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most merciful and almighty God, you bestowed as gift to Lorenzo Ruiz the strength to withstand the overpowering forces of death for the sake of his faith in you. Through his prayers, help
help us to follow his example by overcoming all life's trials and eventually, increase our hope and love in you. O Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, you brought honor to your country, having been a level-headed and prudent father of the family, a witness of Christ in your life until your death. We present all our petitions to God through your help so that by our actions, we may know more and love more Jesus our Lord and Savior. We humbly implore your intercession O dear Saint Lorenzo, for the infinite glory of God and in honor of your triumph as a martyr of Christ and defender of Christianity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you and God bless you. May Saint Lorenzo guide and protect you. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Goodbye too.